okay, we're back. So we both had a little bit of a break, went on a holiday. I went to Peru for a couple of months. I went to New Zealand for three weeks. And then we ran out of money, so we had to come back. Yep, so here we are. <laughs> this episode we'll be talking about the pelvic ultrasound. We're going to be covering our introductions to the pelvic... Oh. We'll be talking about... No. Okay, so we're going to show you what we do, how we do it, and how we interact with the patients in this particularly intimate examination. So let's go. Pelvic ultrasounds are one of the most common ultrasounds that we do. People present for pelvic scans for many, many, many reasons. From pelvic pain, irregular periods, long periods, short periods, no periods. Investigation for endometriosis or polycystic ovaries, postmenopausal bleeding, dating scans, subfertility investigation, scans during IVF, postpartum ultrasounds looking for retained products of conception. And it goes on and on, my friend. The preparation for such scans is most, well, not all that pleasant. You have to drink enough water that you're on the brink of explosion and the fear of peeing yourself in a waiting room becomes very real and frightening. Um, I'm a, I'm a Pima Pants. Oh, come on through. I'm Linda. I'm going to do your imaging for you this afternoon. Let's go. This is a bit of a tease, actually, showing you where the toilet is, but it's just down there. You can't have it yet, though. Take a seat and we'll have a little chat about the ultrasound. Have you ever had a pelvic ultrasound before? No. Oh, well, it's not too bad. It's probably not as bad as you've heard. What I'm going to do to start with is we'll use your full bladder as a window to look at your uterus and your ovaries. And then what we usually do is a transvaginal ultrasound. Have you ever had one of those before? No, I haven't. Okay, well, we get a lot closer to the area of interest, so we get much better resolution of the uterus, the lining of the uterus, and the ovaries so we can tell a whole lot more information. I do let you go to the toilet first though because we do that with a, a completely empty bladder. Are you okay to go ahead with that today do you think? Okay well we'll do the full bladder bit first and I'll have a look and then I'll send you to the toilet. Before we do any kind of scanning let's get a little bit of clinical history from you. Are you still getting your periods? Okay and when was the first date of your last period? Can you remember? Okay. Have you had any surgery at all? Or a caesarean? Or a DNC? Okay. And what about your symptoms? Do you have pelvic pain or um, pain with intercourse or very heavy irregular periods? Okay. Are you on the pill? Right. And have you had any children? Okay. Okay, so I'm going to get you to lie up on the table and I'll cover you with the sheet and we'll have a look at your uterus and ovaries through your full bladder and then we'll talk about the transvaginal ultrasound. Okay, we've had a look transabdominally so we'll get you to go to the toilet now if you're okay to go ahead with the transvaginal scan. Thank goodness, hey? <laughs> So while the patient's in the bathroom, don't waste your time. Ultrasound is a lot about time management as well. So get everything ready for them while they're not in the room. So you get your transvaginal transducer. You get your pillow ready to go under their bottom. Piece of paper for them to wipe themselves. Make sure you've got a nice little modesty sheet for them get your condom and your gel all ready to go. How'd you feel? A whole lot better? It's one of life's simple pleasures having a pee, isn't it, when you've been told you can't? Come on in the room. Great. I'm just going to lock the door so no one can wander in and surprise us. I'm just going to get you to slip your undies off and I'll cover you with a sheet. That's right, just lie down and I'll pop the sheet over you. 
Excellent. Just lift your bottom and I'll put a pillow under your rear end. This just gives us a little bit more ease of the examination. Terrific. Alrighty, so Linda and I do things pretty much the same. The only difference that I can see is that when it comes to the TV scan, I leave the room to give them time to get changed, position themselves on the bed, cover themselves with the modesty sheet, and then I come back in in a few minutes time after a little bit of a knock to see if they're ready to go. And that's about it. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of KY jelly on here so it's gonna feel a little bit cold and goopy. Are you okay if I insert the transducer? If at any time you feel uncomfortable, you just let me know, okay? So just drop your knees apart a little bit. Perfect. So there's a couple of tips when you're scanning pelvises. One is make sure that you get the magic hand on, so the other hand. So whether you're just scanning trans abdominally, but preferably when you're scanning trans vaginally, with this hand you're doing your scanning. This hand should come over and palpate the patient's abdomen and show that the uterus moves and show that the ovaries move to make sure that they slide and that there isn't any endometriosis sticking them to the bowel or something like that. Um, if you're a little bit unsure about putting your own hand on the patient, just ask the patient to do it for you. Just say, just pop your hand there, just push, yes, that's great, backwards and forwards, and then you'll be able to watch the ovaries move. And you might just be able to position the uterus into a better spot so you can see it better. With the uterus, when you pop the transducer in and if it's axial and you go, because it's really frustrating, just leave the uterus to itself for a moment, go out, have a look at the ovaries, come back to the uterus and it might have decided it's going to either go retroverted or antiverted and you might see it better. The other tip, what was my other tip, Katrina? Oh yeah. If you're scanning the uterus and you can't see the, the uterus very well because of the position, just get the patient to take a big deep breath in because amazingly sometimes the uterus just moves into a much better position. So they're my three tips. Hands on, push that uterus and the ovaries, deep inspiration or scan the ovaries first and come back to the uterus. So see how you go. All right, now that we've learned all about those TV probes, Let's raise them up. Yes, and cheers to sonography. See you next time. Bye.